5v5 teamfight composition. They have the wombo combo set up. They have a ton of sustain to keep Wukong and Udir in those fights. The Volley Bear right now being the thing that RA is considering. It is what we touched on would be, I think, one of the more likely picks coming out from the side of RA that they can just put in the jungle. We've seen it up against the Udir, you know, 50 times in the past. And to me, RA's composition a lot more, a lot more skirmishy, a lot more brawly. You have a lot of champions who thrive in very broken up, chaotic fights to where for EDG, they want the more standard 5v5. So we got some time to see if EDG decide, mm -hmm. RA, I'm sorry, decide to change these picks around or if we are going to get our first Gwen jungle. I think it's going to happen. I, like, like, it's like either melee or ranged, depending. Uh, here we go, Cube's in trouble. GG wants to make this happen. Flantre's here trying to bait the orb in. Dodges away from a lot of the damage. The orb comes out from Cube, and he might just be in trouble here because another spin available for Flandre. But Cube's doing a lot of damage himself. Might be able to bite through the monkey, but no. The kill goes the way of Flandre. First blood goes IG. Uh, goes to EDG. We're now in that fight. So you expect Lil Yen to want to use it up towards the top side. So right now they're going to look for that window onto Flandre. Uh, Flandre just blinks out, uses the clone to uh, keep himself safe, but now Lien is just going to help push and inevitably will drop that Herald, get some plates at very least. I don't think they'll be able to finish the tower, but JJ knows that it's going off on the top side of the map, so he will be able to go and grab himself that next Drake. And Lien just trying to make sure that this gets three plates instead of two. Looks like it did just about eke enough damage out. It's actually, it's going to be a 2v1 as Flandre looks for a kill onto Lien. No way is he going to pull this one off. Gets the second knockup cube. Trying to punish him, trying to answer for it, but he just doesn't have the damage. He fights one other nice interaction with yeah. Lien is your auto attack stack up your Q, uh, your empowered Q. So it synergizes well that way. Just not something we've seen much of here in the LPL. Hung looking for a fight. Massive engage onto Mako, and that's a lot of sustain from this team taken off the board the shockwave is nice but it's not good enough as Lian is just chasing viper he's going for the solo dive here the root comes in scout doesn't quite have the damage shockwave not available but the tower shot might help all pushing forward and we go over the wall flandre turning things around gets one knock up chasing for eye boy as well but he doesn't want to go for the flash cube and then guess what viper and and mako at least are now putting any damage on you but flandre's not oh, putting damage no. on the Lian. Flandre, he's got he's only got three kills and he wants a fourth one for himself. Picks that one up though. Both AD carries don't have flash up yet. I boys is close though. So Flandre is here, has his flash, his cube is forced over the wall. Lian really wants to contest this by for stepping forward. That's a big chunk of damage from the Q. Smite onto the Drake. JJ jumping forwards. But they're, they're all just shield. Then the healing comes through. Flandre trying to make the play onto Lien. Again, he really <laughs> hates this little doll. JJ chases him down. He flashes out as his mid laner falls. Fofo. Probably, probably should be at a pretty good number as RA might punish Flandre, but I, I don't know if they have the damage to Flandre. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this one. They're like, hey, I think we could 3v1 this guy. I'm not sure that they can, huh? Looks to be the first one to go down. Flandre survives. The sustain is there. Shockwave comes in as scouts arrived on the scene. And Leon suddenly realizes he doesn't have any damage. He's got no continues in the bottom side. This will be a second in him taken by the looks of things. As EDG gets to just push this one home. And all right, I think they're well aware that there's nothing they can do about this. The 10,000 gold down. Hung going to be locked up and take down. Shockwave goes in. That's two kills already as they turn it into more shields across the team. JJ walks out with his life. Cube goes down as well, and they make it look easy. Scout with a shield bigger than his health bar. And now onto the Nexus turrets go EDG. You think it's all over, and ladies and gentlemen, it is now EDG with the most comfortable showing of maybe any LPL game with the split so far. That was brutal. And EDG showing that, hey, maybe there's another must ban champion against them. Whether it's the Karma or the Senna, you know, whichever part of the duel you want to take off the table, probably would be the Karma because I feel like it enables more picks. 